day, I think we've got a lovely family day planned. Out of the day. Give us a twirl then. <laughs> I love it. Is it for sale? How much is it? 10 euros. For everybody. place to come for a nice day out. Welcome to my channel. I'm Fern, proud mum of two and wife to husband Ryan. We took a huge risk leaving our hometown in the north of England to the stunning French Riviera. It has been one crazy journey with some super challenging times, but the highs definitely make it all worthwhile and we've discovered parts of ourselves we never knew existed. Subscribe and join me for a peek into my daily life living on the French Riviera. Good morning everyone, hello, welcome back to a brand new video, how are you all doing? It's an absolutely gorgeous sunny morning here, I've just made myself a quick coffee in a Christmas mug because the dishwasher's full and it's going and I opened the cupboard and there was one cup left in there, it's a lovely Christmas mug but it is a Christmas mug, um, I am just getting ready. I've been in the shower, I've done my face, everything but my lipstick. I'm just waiting for my hair to dry off a little bit more. It looks super gingery when it's wet. It's not actually quite that warm when it's dry. Um, but yeah, I let my hair dry like 90% and then my latest routine is like getting the hot brush, the hot brush dryer on it and just smoothing it over and then I don't really need to use anything after that so mm -hmm. that's my latest routine today i think we've got a lovely family day planned we're actually going to the races to the horse races now it's something that we've like passed and seen like flyers for and things like that since we moved here and we've never done it and um, when we went to cancer the beachfront the other week there was a guy there giving flyers out and we thought oh actually let's try that this year let's do it um so that's where we're going it's family day i don't think it's quite the same vibe as races in the uk as i've always known it it's not like that dressy um it's much more casual laid back and people actually go for the sport not like the uk where literally I don't know, 80% of people go just to dress up and have a boozy day. Um, so yeah, very different. I think there's going to be lots of activities there for the kids and things like that. So I'll take you along and we'll see what it's all about. Oh, hot. Hello. Here's my boy. All ready, aren't you? Yeah. This is my uh, hot brush tool. That I've been using lately. Marvellous, quite like it. You got everything sorted? Need yeah. anything? Yeah, Seth's just waiting for his friend to come get dropped off. We have got Joey coming with us today, haven't we? Yeah. So you boys will have a little wander off and go to the stalls and stuff like that because we're actually meeting friends when we get there as well. So Nancy's gonna have her friend Ava to hang out with. So we're taking Joey. Um, Oh, you've got a moustache, have you? Well, you've got to walk. Oh, he's got little fine hair moustache coming. Wow, that is a sign of growing up. Getting hairy. Right, let's get the hair done. Excuse me? Did you hear that? So... Steph's friends arrived, who only speaks French, which is a bit of a challenge for us. I like it because Joey learns English from us and we learn, well, we try and use the French that we know. So I just end up mingling sentences like, Seth, go and put Joey's sack in your chambre, you know, and I just break it up so that at least he recognises certain words so he doesn't like feel completely... Sugar. Um, so you know so yeah it makes me use the french words that i do know 
Ryan's completely rushing me now because I'm the last one out the door. But I wanted to show you my outfit of the day today. I'm thinking, oh, is that in a bit of a twist? What's happened there then? Has it got twist? Oh, that's it. Um, I want to wear my, do you remember the Holland Cooper gilet I got from my mum for Christmas? Featured it in a previous video. This one. Well, it's like one of those pieces that I just think I'll have for years and years. End up wearing it for dog walks, like sticking it on to go out in the garden, whatever. But first of all, I wanted to wear it in a more dressy way. So white shirt underneath. Um, so that's what I'm thinking today, guys. I just don't know whether to pop this little belt around the shirt for when I take the chillet off. Does it work? I think so. I think so. I've got like really dark khaki green, um, like leathery jeggings on, like stretchy um, boots. I don't know if you can see, uh, just suede slouchy boots, white shirt that I got last year from Mango, it's like a long line one, and then hopefully this will look nice and just complete the look. situation doesn't feel like it's sitting right you know but I think we're good yeah I think we're good I'm gonna have to take the um, plastic off these zips in the car <laughs> don't let me forget very appropriate for a day at the races don't you I feel like I'm about to like hop on a horse though <laughs> oh. and then bag I think I'm just gonna take my big chocolate brown Teddy Blake bag I think that's probably the best option Ooh, lipstick somebody always asks what lipstick are you wearing and you know what it's actually a combination of two very old favorites I just can't seem to drift away from them and find a colour that's just like it. So my favourites are from MAC, honestly, like, loved them for years. Um, I don't even think you can still get them in MAC anymore. Have to order them online. So the brighter one, which I usually wear for, like, evenings out, is Rich and Restless. But for daytime, I like Back in Vogue, which is a much more like subtle look um but i actually like this as a base still with this over the top like mix the two together and it just works perfect it's like my dream favorite color i have tried to find very similar ones this is just a maybelline superstay mac ink uh, matte ink it's just not the same just not the same you know when you just find a lipstick that you absolutely love well they're my two favorites Better put them on in the car before Ryan goes crazy at me. Let's go. We've arrived. It's actually glorious, like beautiful sunshine. But we are still only at the end of February. So yeah, it does mix you up a little bit this, doesn't it? Like when I first moved here, I used to think, oh, it's spring. And then you put spring clothes on and it's not spring at all. It's perfect. Very actually. British mentality to uh, dress for summer as soon as the sun shows itself. But you learn. So we're still in like, you know, mid wintry clothes. But it's very warm. Look at you, you look lovely. You look like you're going to the GG. Yes. So, so do you, darling. Yeah. It's my new gilet. My new gilet in action. It's quite white warm. shirt underneath. It is quite warm, but I think the temperature's perfect. It's fine. 
you can't rush and delve into like spring summer clothes that's just silly um yes outfit of the day give us a twirl then <laughs> What about your outfit of the day? Ooh, you and Nancy are like twinning a little bit. <laughs> She's running away from her dad. You like it anyway. I do, yeah. You look I've lovely. worn this for a long time. Yeah, you look lovely. Is it from your winter collection? It's from my winter collection, yeah. <laughs> We're getting to the end of the winter collection now. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Do you know how much that was? No. Ten euros. For everybody. They out for ten euro, yeah. Ten euros for all of us. Is that a family ticket then? Wow, guys, ten euros for entrance for three kids, two adults. Oh wow! Look at this. Oh wow, Ryan. Oh look, I love that old Merc. Oh wow, that's my absolute fave. I love that. Oh, wow, let's see. Look, I love it. Is it for sale? How much is it? Yeah, it is for sale. Does it say price? No. Oh, look at the interior. Oh, that tan leather and that wheel. Look at the wood on that wheel. That's stunning, isn't it? Hiya. Sure. Ça va? Ça va? Oui. Ça va? Hi. Okay. How are you? Thank you. Good. We got two there. Oh, seven's the favourite look. Ah, uh, yeah. Horse is that, details. Is that, the odds, look. is that the odds? Three to one. So the one that you've chosen is thirty-four to one, is it? That's the outside favourite, is it? Display state. No, there you go. Yeah, that's the odds. What's that mean? Three seven. Maybe they do it different here yeah, because it's not. They do have to do it. So yeah, you pick your horse. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll choose one. I'm gonna go for number eight. I want to see the horse. Oh, that's what you do. You add the bet. Now there's a question. Oh. So for a round, yes. with three glasses of champagne, yeah. uh, four kids drinks and a beer, it's around about 
40 quid. Oh wow, it's a cheap day out. And it is a cheap really, day out. Really, really lovely. It cost us 10 euros to get in. Yeah. With five of us. Yeah. And now we're going for some tweet. Uh, no we've wins had two, yet. No guys. wins. Two races so far, zero yeah. wins. Yeah, but honestly, it's such a lovely day out. And it's not too busy either. Like in the UK, it would be absolutely heaving. It's just nice. Yeah. Um, so and it's gonna, great for the family. Yeah, we're going to look into what the members like club entails and things like that because it's just such a lovely place to come for a nice day out. Even all the stalls downstairs, like what the kids are going to do with all the kids' rides and activities, they're all free, which is very unusual. Um, but yeah, lovely day so far. We'll keep you posted. Yes, That's a starter. Wow. Wow, it's huge. It's a starter, hon. Honestly. Um, it was the third before then. It's, it's not burger, it's girl. stick or shake. It's a steak. You've got well, it's to say stick or shake. Because it definitely is. A nice item. And chippies. Wow. Good girl. She's a good girl. Party choke. Oh, oh yeah, horsey. Parmesan. Yeah, uh, crack on with this. Horsey with sherry on. Well, yeah. we, we won't. We won't. We won't know what What's that? It's a petal. Ooh. Salted caramel. Yeah. You know, it'll be small and Go on, then. Oh, go on, then. Oh, let me have a look at that. Absolutely no. Yes. Go on. Hello, darling. Say bon. Where you going? Chip it. Where's that chip from? Where from? Well, I was going to give it to chip. She's a beautiful girl, daddy. She's a beautiful girl, daddy. She's the lady the first try. She is. Yeah, you know, but it looked a bit. It looked too good, didn't it? How is it? It's like. It's like an ice cream brulee. Oh, that's really nice. Is it lovely? Mm. Blue guy. Yeah. Is that creme brulee then? I'm not sure what's going on in your plate. I'm not sure. I that's creme brulee. I think that's the waiter's creme brulee. Oh, You've that got the two creme brulees then. Yeah. That, that Never. Kind of, There's no crunch. Kind of, he hasn't um, flambéed it. Holly knows. <laughs> Give me the nothing, nothing. Nothing. I'm going to bring it in my purse. Show me the girls. Grab the girls' plate. No, not there. Good girl. So this is. It looks like lemon tart. Hey, really on the face. No. I think oh, it's from a while fine. ago and it's come out. Then you want to try my brownie? And then there's... Is this what the girls have got? The brownie? Yeah, yeah Ryan just got a daddy's portion. Awesome. No. I love that. You must love them 
great. today. <laughs> Hello darling. Mwah. Oh everybody I'm so tired. It's been the ultimate chill day for us all today. We've had a really lazy snuggly Sunday after a busy day yesterday but what an absolutely gorgeous day. I was so happy that I was able to share it with you. Such a lovely like relaxed safe family atmosphere you didn't really see much of nancy on camera because she went off with a friend ava and they went like to the stalls downstairs there was so much for kids like they went and got the nails done and things like that and we were giving them money to go and get these things and it was absolutely free so much like free things for the children so that was really nice um yeah we all loved it all loved it had a few drinks indulged had some lovely food one thing i will say about the restaurant is we took like the latest book in that we could which i think was 2 p.m and we arrived up there at like five past two something like that and we did feel very rushed that's all so um the restaurant i would advise to get an earlier book in but yeah, highly recommend, like if you're visiting the French Riviera and thinking of things to do, absolutely fantastic day out, completely different experience to the UK horse races. Exhausted today. Ooh, I find that now when I like let my hair down a little bit and have a day off, have a few drinks and like indulge in lovely food, Oh my gosh, I really do feel it more than ever because, I don't know, I just really do. Maybe because every day is like strict and healthy that when you let your hair down a little bit, it like really hits you. Um, so I'm looking forward to jumping into bed tonight so much. But um, thank you for spending the day with us. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. And I'll see you all really, really soon, just in a few days, in my next video. I'm sending so much love. Bye, guys.